ready. It's over. <laughs> It's on you. Need my help, do you? Jesse and Big stashed a skeleton key down here. I never got the chance to thank them for what they did. Tifa. Let's just keep moving, okay? Hate to interrupt, but the trunk line's just through that door. The one over there? Yeah, we heard you. Made it. About time. This way. There should be a door with Corneo's mark on it. Hey, wasn't this locked before? Your time to shine. Clear the path ahead, would you? Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you something? Why did you help us out before? You could have lost everything. Andrea, you told me to. That really it? And I couldn't bring myself to let it happen again. Huh? It doesn't matter. Let's go. We do this fast. <laughs> You're good at this. <laughs> Told you so. Wait. We're getting close to Corneo's hideout. From here on, I'll take the lead. Yeah. 
So how are we supposed to get topside? Through here. Then you're telling me we're not done? Sorry, guys. But it's not that simple. No! Wait! We gotta catch him! Huh? He took the key to the door! Without it, we're screwed! Let's go. Just like that, okay? Let's move, move, move! 
Now let's uh. Tifa, I'm sorry. You okay? <laughs>
on you. Give it back! That's... Give it back. That's not a key. Sorry. That's not your pendant either. Were they family? No. It was all just a dream, wasn't it? But one day? No. Time to wake up and forget. Six months ago. On that day, Corneo picked her as a bride, and on the next, she vanished without a trace. But before she did, she gave it back. Salt on the wound. Thing cost me a small fortune. Why did you want to come down here? Revenge. I know I need to let go, but I can't. I need closure, because without it, I'll never be able to move on. It's fine. As long as you get us topside, we're still in. Thanks. And don't worry. I got you. <sighs> you all right. I know a shortcut. 
Follow me. That twisted piece of shit. I'm gonna enjoy beating him to a pulp. Cornell's mine, and mine alone. Huh? Please. Fine. Come up with anything! 
You're done. Okay then, y'all think we got everything? Question is, now what? It's not gonna be easy selling this stuff. Oh, I know. What about Mara? We could ask her to help. I'm sure she'd be happy to. Outside. Think the kid's gonna be okay going in alone? It's Leslie! Got some urgent info for the Don! <laughs> Come alone? Of course. Really? Without my little avalanche kittens? I thought I told you to round them up and bring them to me. Actually, it's them I came to talk about. Hmm. Uh. I don't think I need to remind you why I'm down here. Spilling the beans to those three escape artists was a serious mistake. Now I'm on Shinra's shit list. The plate stunt was meant to be an unprecedented tragedy, claiming countless innocent lives. But those naughty little kittens organized an evacuation and screwed up the plan. I'll let you in on a secret. Shinra is going to abandon Midgar and build something close to paradise. I was invited to be a part of it. Dawn of a new and improved wall market! I'll be lucky to live another week.
Leslie, I was going to let you run your own place. Give you a piece of the action. What a shame. Pop quiz time, kiddo! Villains like us only divulge our evil plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation, hmm? When you think you've already won. <laughs> Goodbye. Think again, Don. Oh, it's you. You were talking about the Sector 7 plan. Keep talking, asshole. Ah! Over there! Over there, look! Don't try to bullshit us. But that's the thing. It's not technically bullshit when it's true. <laughs> Good, Abzu! Feel free to play with your food! Donna! Bastard! First him, then Corneo.
Don't give up! You okay? Where's Corneo? Sorry. Bastard got away. Uh, it's fine. I'll track him down eventually. Not like I have anything better to do. You know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. She could still be out there. Can never be sure how much someone means to you till they're gone. Don't give up on her yet. Was it a message? What was she trying to tell me? We'll meet again. It's a symbol of reunion. <laughs> then I guess I've got no choice but to find her first. <laughs> Thanks. Hold up. I think you might be forgetting something. I haven't. Found it. Let's get out of here, and then I'll give you what you need. That sweet Midgar small. <laughs> this way. <sighs> Grappling guns. You can practically fly with the souped up motors on these babies. Sector 7 is on the other side of that wall. 
The guns will get you over and past it, along with any number of other obstacles. But they're one-way tickets. So once you start up, there's no coming back. You should probably get your affairs in order, just in case. Thank you. Didn't tell you before, but we're looking for someone, too. That right. Hope you find it. You too. What brings you here? Gifts from an angel. They're to be used to help the people of Sector 7 rebuild. The angel of the slums? You didn't meet her, did you? Tell me, what was she like? Never met her. Just her go-between. A shame. Oh, bless her sweet soul. I don't know what to say. I'll make sure the funds are put to good use. Here, why don't you take this? Something tells me you can use it more than me. There. Not too shabby now, is it? Why waste time crying when you could be doing something useful? Right. Plenty of work to do yet. Right. Plenty of work to do yet. Gotta make up for lost time. Hey there! Looking to travel? Suffering find refuge. And may the fallen find their way to the planet's loving embrace. I hear Corneo's got secret rooms hidden in the sewers. More than even he knows if the rumors are true. That reminds me, someone spotted a tacky looking door over by the collapsed expressway. If you're curious, there's another door that's got Corneo's emblem and everything on it. Right by the Angel's hideout. I hear Corneo's got secret rooms hidden in the sewers, more than even he. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Aerith around lately. You don't need to worry about her. I'm sure she's out there doing her part to help the wounded. My good Merc! Have you heard the news? The Angel of the Slum stole Corneo's fortune and gave it to the people of Sector 7! Ha <laughs> ha! The hero that Midgar needs! That's it. I've made up my mind. I'm quitting the paper and going freelance! I'm going to write exclusively about our resident angel. 
as an independent, I may need to ask for your help again down the line. I'd appreciate any and all cooperation! What I wouldn't give to meet you, my angel. A bandit queen with a heart of gold is exactly the sort of hero our fair city needs. It's amazing. I've never felt so passionately about anything in my entire life. A bandit queen with a heart of gold is exactly the sort of hero our fair city Welcome to the Moogle Emporium. How you doing, Cloud? We'll protect the Sector 5 slums. Leave it to us. How you doing, Cloud? The team walks right into Corneo's mansion. See all those Shinra troopers storming the dogs? Hmm? Are you here for a workout? <laughs> 